Hey y'all, welcome back to Joey Show Nashville. Hopefully you're all doing well and happy. Now, that clip you saw at the very beginning of my episode here was all shot uh, from the last episode. It was footage that wasn't seen because it was all done with my Canon 90D. And I kind of sped it up and made it maybe a little bit faster so it'd be faster consuming for YouTubers. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that uh, one of the things about having the Canon 90D, it does take incredible 4K footage, uh, both 30 and 24 frames per second. But the one problem with the Canon 90D is its stability. It doesn't have a IBIS or in-body stabilization. It has an electronic stabilization, which isn't the greatest. And if you put it on max electronic stabilization, you get a lot of warpy stuff around the edges. And you're like, wow, that's kind of messed up. So having to hold the camera really steady makes it uh, difficult to walk and move around holding it. So a lot of the footage that you see, including all of last episode, was basically shot on the GoPro Hero 8, which has a stabilization built into it. And so it just is easier, it's lighter, and I don't have to worry about all this work in uh, editing to put like a warp stabilizer on it. I really want to use the Canon 90D more for doing like b-roll and walking and talking and stuff but just the stabilization it's unviewable to me it jars me watching someone walk holding a camera with no stabilization so I've been looking into some things we'll see what we come up with hopefully you're doing good talk to you soon oh stick around for the end because at the end of this I'm gonna take that same clip but it's uh, in a more cinematic form you might like that who knows you may you may not. Just as an example, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm using the GoPro Hero 8 right now, and I'm walking. It's a regular walk. So you tell me, does that look pretty smooth? Okay, now I'm on the Canon 90D. I'm gonna do the same thing I just did on the GoPro. I'm gonna hold it fairly steady. I don't know what kind of test this is, but maybe it'll give you an idea. How's it going, guys? You having a nice Friday? Well, my Friday's hopefully gonna be getting better. I wanna tell you about some of the gear that I've gotten over the last few months, some of the gear I've gotten over the last few months may have been a little bit excessive for what I need right now, and I should have probably held off. But to start with, I wanted to have stable shots, right? So what I bought was one of these things, so I could like mount my camera here, and I could hold it and have like a three-point axis for being stable. But I'm not shooting a lot of that stuff right now, and to be honest with you, I haven't really used it. You know, I'm not shooting films at this moment, so I'm sure it'll come in handy though. This is a really cool unit. Then of course, I bought this cage. I didn't want to go for the real expensive kind, so I bought one from Newer. So it's a really cool setup. It's got two handles and then a handhold on top. And it's got all kinds of uh, cool things on top where I can screw in like a monitor or uh, mics or any other kind of hardware I want for my lens, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this uh, was a pretty good deal. I use this a lot. A couple things I don't like about it. The handle's a little loose and I have to keep tightening it up. But other than that, this has been pretty nice. I, li I like using this. It made my shots a lot steadier, but not st it's 
this would not be good for vlogging or walking because it's like, okay, I'm going to film myself and walk. So I'd hold this up and be like, nah, it's just not stable and it's uncomfortable and it kind of, it's just not doing the trick. So my next course of action was, see if I can find it. Hold on one sec. My next course of action was to buy one of these. It's like a little mini stabilizer. It's got weights on the bottom and you mount your camera on here. So I got this from newer too because uh, I was using their plate system. So why not? So got this and I put my camera on here several times and messed with it. It's really, really finicky as far as getting your balance right on this. And then you know, it takes a lot of work. You got to learn how to walk again, like all these ninja baby walks and the footage still just seemed like whenever the wind came up, useless. The camera's blowing all over and it's like the footage is useless. I mean, indoors, if I was inside and I was really, really careful, it'll work good. But again, for vlogging, no, nah, this isn't going to work because you're going to have both hands you need to have to operate this. So yeah, this didn't work either. So then what I did is I decided, okay, if I can't use my Canon 90D to film myself, then I'll just use it on a tripod and get decent B-roll. And so handheld sometimes and sometimes B-roll, but I've got to be real, you know, real careful with my movement of the camera. And it, it, it just, otherwise the footage is just too, too shaky. And it, I don't know about you, but for me, it's like shaky footage takes me out of whatever it is. I want to be absorbed in content when I'm watching something. It's like, I don't want camera movement to take me out of it. And that's the trouble with a lot of movies these days is they're doing everything handheld. And so everything's jarry and shaky and too dark. It's like, come on, lighten the place up a little bit. You know, if it's dark, it's not worth it. So anyways, I was kind of in a conundrum because I didn't want to spend the big bucks to buy a professional gimbal stabilizer, you know, an electronic one, but I exhausted all my other options and I said, you know, I've really got to look into these more. So I delved deep and I decided, hmm, how can I, how can I do this? What? So I did all the research and I found the most reasonable price on one and it's the most reliable. So let's have a look. So basically I've tried just about everything and I just couldn't find anything better than using my GoPro Hero 8 with a Joby Gorillapod. Light, convenient, easy to walk around, talk. Sound was okay. Now they do sell a monopod that has like some kind of weird microphone or a plug for a real microphone on it. But for what I was doing, I figured, why have all the extra stuff when you can just, it works fine by itself. So that's what I've been using. Now, I'll tell you, I, I'm not really happy with the quality, sure, it's 4K and the, it's smooth, but basically everything's in focus and you can't really get a special look to it. Plus the colors, you know, I just, I'm not, I, I wish that I could just get all the benefits of my Canon 90D with this, but I just can't. Uh, the only thing that this has going for it is the convenience, durability. It's kind of waterproof. I mean, I wouldn't take it without a case in the water, but you know, for, I think I paid 400 when it came out. Now they're like about 300 bucks. By the way, there's a link for these in the description below if you're interested, but yeah, anyways, this was cool, it's lasted, but I really want to use that camera you're watching me now on, so. Now this came in the mail. Bust out my little knife. Hopefully you can see this. I've got my fingers crossed on this one. So we will see. Oh, I got one more to cut here. One sec. Ooh, I'm excited. The suspense is killing me. Uh, wow. Bubbles. I love these bubbles. These bubbles are so cool. What do we got? What do we got? I don't want to show you. Ta -da! What do you think of that? 
It's a Feutek AK 2000S. This is a fully electronic gimbal, three axis stabilizer. Well, if I'm not gonna be able to use my camera on this, then I can't use my camera on anything. So I'm excited to see this. So let's open the box, shall we? Okay. This is so cool, guys. I am stoked beyond belief. This is phenomenal. It's like, I don't need, it's so nice, I don't want to ruin the box. But I gotta open it, man. It's got these cool little, I don't know if you guys know any special things to this, but it's like, I can never get these open without breaking the box. It's like, come on, man. Let's push these down. Come on, come on. Uh, come on. There we go. La la. Only a slight rip. They can resell that if it don't work, right? Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. And it has a case. Even better. Ooh. Look at that. Would you look at this case, folks? Wow. And look, it's even got like plastic on the handle. That is so sweet. Well, I guess it opens like this. So these guys open up. Boom. I'm going to let you see it before me. Ready? How's it look, guys? It looks pretty complicated, so... I'm not gonna like take it apart and put it together for you right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the instruction manual and find out everything I have to do. Then I'm gonna watch some tutorial videos and I'm gonna get to work testing this. And hopefully, hopefully my footage is gonna improve for you guys. So that's what I'm hoping for. So yeah, I'm stoked. Oh yeah, before I forget to remind you, after this segment, at the very end, there's going to be a really short, like, three-minute cinematic B-roll from yesterday's hike. So, check that out, too. And uh, stay tuned, because my footage is going to improve, I'm sure. And my next, uh, my next video will probably be a review on this one. So, you can look forward to that. Hopefully, you're all doing well, having a great weekend. And we'll see you on the next episode. Be sure, if you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe and like this video. Helps others to see it. Really appreciate it. Hey, you guys take care. Aloha. Thank you.